Hey there, movie fans. Scott Movie Mance here with my Sundance 2021 Film Festival review of Land. Edie, how are you feeling right now? What are you feeling? That it's really difficult to be around people because they just want me to be better. So you're not able to share what you're feeling with other people. Robin Wright makes her directorial debut with Land, in which she also stars as a woman who, in an effort to process the grief of a recent trauma, seeks a new life for herself off the grid, completely cut off from civilization in the harsh wilderness of Wyoming. This is a very impressive and very effective directorial debut for Robin Wright. For the first half of the film, there's hardly any dialogue, and we feel just how much her character is hurting and just how in over her head she quickly becomes in her efforts to live off the grid and uh, fight the elements, fight the wildlife, fight the wilderness, fight off starvation, fight off loneliness. This is a fully committed performance and it's a fully immersive film. It's raw, it's unflinching, it's riveting. You feel the landscape and the vistas of this movie. And as a director, Robin Wright really captures the perfect balance between the beauty of the mountains and the weather and the wildlife, but also how deadly and unflinching and uncompromising and punishing it can truly be. Now, the film takes a sharp turn when a kind stranger, played by Demi and Bashir, shows up and in the nick of time, I might add, to help her get back on her feet and show her the lay of the land, if you will. Now, the film is less effective from this point moving forward. Uh, it's still very moving as we see Robin Wright's character learn how to fend for herself physically, but also start to heal emotionally. Uh, but it's also it also feels a little more contrived in its efforts to move toward a resolution. And it feels a little more calculated at this point. And it feels more generic than it did in that first half. But Land is still a great movie. I really, really like this film. And for very obvious reasons, it reminded me of Wild with Reese Witherspoon, Into the Wild with Emile Hirsch, and even Jeremiah Johnson with Robert Redford. So on one hand, yeah, it's kind of been done, but that doesn't mean that Land isn't a good movie. It is a very, very good movie, and it is very, very much worth seeing when it opens in theaters on February 12th. If you can't make it to theaters, that's okay. It opens on demand. It drops on demand just a few weeks after it opens in theaters. So please check it out, and bravo to Robin Wright for her directorial debut with Land. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like this video review. I'll be back soon with more reviews. And until the next time, here's looking at you, kid.